How's the new hat looking? <laughs>how's everybody doing welcome back to another episode of bites out back i know that it's been at least two years since i've done one just to catch you up on everything that's gone on in the past two years we built an addition onto the house we've had our second child who is now two and a bit absolute terror to the household love him to death yeah a lot of things have changed we've just been keeping busy i've been playing a lot of music lately with my group my friend the skeleton which i will put up here you can see my friend the skeleton the other thing that's changed this bad boy See that? See that big gap? Yeah, beginning of COVID, you know what happened? I ate a sour key and it broke the bracket off. I had braces when I was younger, couldn't get into a dentist. The gap just kept getting bigger. Cause I know some people are like, why does he look different? Why does he have a gap in his teeth? I just haven't got it fixed. I couldn't get it fixed throughout COVID because they weren't fixing brackets then. So that being said, let's carry on with the video. I just wanna make a chicken sandwich with some hot honey mustard on it. It's got chicken thighs, bacon, hot honey mustard. Let's get some veggies chopped up and some meat seasoned and get it on the barbecue. I'll season a few. You know how it is. You know how it is. tradition to do this um, so with this being kind of a heavier sandwich I want to go with the lighter beer and I decided to go with this Gruppetto light lager this beer here is uh, brewed by Magnata brewery I think they do wine as well um, it's based out of Vaughan Ontario this is super light this is only a 3.7 percent beer um, but like I said it's a light beer heavy sandwich just wanted something nice for today something with uh, something that's nice and crispy so uh, here it is Gruppetto light lager by Magnata brewery taste let's get it poured up and enjoy a Saturday lunches outside pine why not all right here we go let's try it out it is very light, um, taste is really good. I wish it was a little bit colder, but here we are. So yeah, I think this will pair perfectly. Cheers. All right, we're gonna get the chicken seasoned up right now. I have some chicken thighs in a Ziploc bag. I had four put aside from the other night. They're frozen, so I think they're thawed out. I'm gonna go ahead and season it up right now. Just a little bit of oil, a little bit of kosher salt. This is like my favorite seasoning. I put this on everything. Just a little bit of chili powder, some minced onion. Just gonna mix the bag up. I find this the easiest way to do this kind of stuff. All right, so now that I have the chicken seasoned, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put it on the grill. I wanna get a nice little char on it. And I'm gonna get the bacon put onto a cookie sheet that's lined with uh, aluminum foil just to cook it on the barbecue. It makes it super easy. So you'll see that here in a second. Okay then, my neighbors are cutting down a tree. We're just making the hot honey mustard right now. Put the ingredients up on the screen. I'll do the talking thing over it because uh, I've got a little loud there for a bit. But yeah, you'll see it all. I'll make sure it all works out.
So here's the hot honey mustard here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, you can make this a little thicker if you want. This is just how I like it. Chicken thighs are getting that nice little char. You can see that right there, down in here. This stuff tastes really good on the sandwich. All right, you know I go to Bun King, pick up some sub rolls. While I'm there, I'm making sure to pick up some provolone cheese. This is one of the tastiest cheeses for this sandwich or for any sub. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the bun out, just uh, from the top, from the bottom, just so it's not so bready. Treat. All right, now we're gonna take the chicken and the bacon off the barbecue, and I'm gonna be putting it onto the cutting board, dice it up, and that's another key. You're dicing up the meat so that when you bite, it's just bite after bite. You're not ripping apart meat. You're not spending time chewing that much. It's gonna flow well, you know what I mean? Cheers. excited as I am, here we go. You got your meat, you got your honey mustard embedded in the meat, you got your fresh veggies, you got a little bit of kick, you got a bun that's soaking up all of that juice. Absolutely incredible. I topped up my beer, let's try it out. Before I take my first bite, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of the hot honey mustard just to see what it tastes like. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What did I call it, a hot honey club? Sure, why not? Here we go. I'm not kidding, this is worth the wait. Even though I overcooked the majority of the bacon, I ended up managing to salvage a bunch of chewy parts bunch of crispy so I kind of got a dynamic in there the provolone sets this off you get the provolone with the hot honey mustard the diced up pickles the diced up peppers the new Algoma hat what a day I'm not tuning my own horn but this is absolutely incredible and it's been a blast being back here I need my beer Wow, cheers, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for paying attention to this. And again, I'm gonna try and do this at least once a month. See how it goes, kind of tough with kids, music, you know how it is. Anyways, cheers, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one, cheers.